the war was over and he was, and John Hansen did a great deal. If he hadn't have passed away, he could have been thought of as a president himself. He helped so much through the Congress and the Continental Congress. So it was that uh, I was sick, but George needed to go and find the land that he had purchased over at the Indian, uh, French Indian War and survey some of the land himself. And he was gone a year then, and in the passing of a few more years, the colonies were unraveling. They were not cooperating together. And when George would come, he would he would stop and and uh, join the Congress, and he was able to find compromise with people. It was a noted uh, attribute of his, and so. Um, they decided that we needed to have some interstate commerce made and he was able to help the Potomac to be used. Oh, he loved the Potomac when we sat up on the Mount Vernon and he'd look and see the sunrise. He hadn't seen that in many years. But so they decided they needed a president, <laughs> not a king. He said, no, I won't be a king. He, they had many titles for him, but he decided he would be, he would be, uh, president would, be satisfied enough. And all the votes of all the colonies took some time to get up through the winter months up to New York to be counted. But when they were counted, it was unanimous. The only president could be unanimously voted in. And George was uh, unanimously voted as president. Um, and so, 1789, we began presidency. Well, uh, I came up a month later and now I'm going to be a, a president's wife. I found it some at some points. I found myself. If you, I beg your moment here. I will have to attire myself a bit differently. I did not ever want to look like an aristocrat, but uh, <clears throat> rather a homespun. But I took my entourage of children and uh, grandchildren, helpers, up to New York, and we. We were on the barge crossing the Hudson, and there is George himself with the Congress in there inviting me, their Lady Dragoon, and, and they never called me First Lady at that time. You know, First Lady was first known by, by Dolly Madison, a wonderful lady. Uh, but uh, anyway, they invited us, and, and the 13 gun salute as I crossed the barge, and we had the uh, inaugural ball and so forth, and we. We began the presidency in New York. A few years, a couple of years later, we moved to 